Cyprus economy may be resilient enough to withstand the fallout from the conflict between Israel and Hamas, however the island may also be classed as a danger zone if the situation escalates into a broader war. Cyprus is entering crisis mode to prepare for a widening fallout that threatens to spread into Lebanon. The attacks in Israel represent a humanitarian tragedy unfolding in a neighboring country. The big question is how long the conflict will last before we can make any assessments of the economic impact. I am underling my concern over the situation in Israel, due to the country's significance as the second most important market for Cyprus. The consequences to the economy will depend on how soon or how late the war will end and if there are other geopolitical consequences in the surrounding area. Two weeks into the conflict it's difficult to reach any conclusions, but it's possible in the long term this war will affect the island. We must see the length of this, the extent of the problem and to what extent other countries such as Lebanon, may become embroiled. I am taking moment to thank you for subscribing to my channel. Your support motivates me to create more content that you love. I'd also like to encourage you to leave a comment and let me know what you think of the video. The Cypriot tourism sector may also feel the heat of the Middle East conflict. The industry could experience a decline in tourist numbers, leading to substantial financial losses. Tourism would certainly be affected due to the large number of Israeli tourists that holiday in Cyprus and the situation in Israel is affect their travels. After the start of hostilities, some visitors departed more quickly, while others extended their stay in Cyprus by one or two days. Additionally, some individuals arrived in Cyprus for a short stay, hoping that the situation would calm down, and they could return to their homes. Long term, should the conflict continue, then geopolitical projects that Cyprus is involved in such as the Euro-Asia interconnector between Israel, Cyprus, and Greece, may have some kind of impact. If the conflict persists, it may witness a stronger presence of Israeli companies in Cyprus. While this could foster business ties and economic relations between the two nations, the long-term impact of this shift is uncertain. Israel represents a crucial market for Cyprus, and the recent developments have raised concerns within the local institutions. Associations are strongly against the terrorist acts that have affected the people of Israel, and I am expressing sorrow over the recent developments, hoping that the entire situation will come to a peaceful resolution. The conflict in Cyprus could be split into two categories. The first lies in the broader consequences to the global economy such as the petrol price. Cyprus neighbors Israel has positive consequences now, as many Europeans living in Israel are likely to move to Cyprus for safety until the situation clears up. The conflict could also mean Israeli companies moving to Cyprus, However if the war expands, Cyprus may also become a danger zone and consequently, this will have an impact on tourism. The conflict's repercussions are also likely to indirectly affect interest rates in Europe. While the exact trajectory of this impact is yet to be determined, it is clear that the economic balance in the European region could be disrupted. The ongoing conflict in the Middle East is not just a regional concern. Its economic ripples could affect nations and continents far beyond its borders. It is both a historical tragedy and an ongoing humanitarian crisis. As the situation unfolds, countries like Cyprus and regions like Europe must brace themselves for potential economic challenges. Thank you again for your support, and I look forward to sharing more videos with you soon.